community comes to you and says, we would like um, you to help us, or we would like you to help our community, I feel honored by that. I feel kind of kind of blessed by that. We need to groom young people to become you know, part of our industry. We can't con consistently rely on bringing in kids from Davis and Fresno and other parts of the, of the country. We really should be supporting these children, giving them an opportunity to do agriculture in another, in another field. Probably about a year ago, Ken Wright uh, approached us and started talking about developing um, a relationship with us, uh, with our students and the local grape growers. I said, well, you know, we have this land that's attached to our campus um, that the school district owns. And I said, I don't know how willing the school board would be to allow us to do something, but, you know, a land lab would be kind of ideal. We've always looked at that land um, and wondered what we should do with it. In my personal perspective, there's nothing better than learning hands-on. I can teach the kids all kinds of curriculum using a book, but for them to really be able to retain it, and maintain that knowledge, they have to be out doing it. And you just put them down in the hole, put the soft dirt in, and then that's what the gloves are for, so you're not afraid to put your hands down in there. You know, we're looking at about one, uh, a little, almost an acre and a half of vines going into the ground uh, today and they will be cared for by the kids in this program. We know that if we get students excited and engaged in career technical education at middle or high school, that they're much more likely to persist in it and to continue and make that a career. This is the only program of its kind that has an actual vineyard for the students in the United States. There are some viticulture programs where the students learn about it in the classroom. This is the very first actual working lab, so an actual vineyard on the high school property that the students are managing. We currently are using the curriculum that Mecca has developed. It's our base. I've talked about it as like a three-legged stool. Uh, you know, the school, the business, and, and the community college connection. The students are earning community college credits, and then they're getting a transcript, and they're able to more easily transition into the community college environment. Our goal is to have students graduate out of our uh, programs with associate's degrees. Chemeketa's interaction, the partnership we can develop and develop with Chemeketa is invaluable. In fact, without Chemeketa, we can't do it. I think it's, it's really cool that I get to be part of this, and my then my little brother's a seventh grader, and he'll get to be part of the first harvest, and so, It'll be here for longer than me probably, so I think that's really cool. The biggest aspect for the community is it helps us have jobs in an industry that is here. We have an opportunity to keep our kids here. When they graduate, they have something to do, they can stay in the community. That helps our community grow and helps our community be, to be stable. It's overwhelming to see uh, the impact that this is having on the community, to see how much the community is just really just come full force into this. We should be hiring from within our community and offering these kids another agricultural path and that's exactly what this does. Part of our role is we are a community college and we look to support our community and we look to support the industries that are within our community and we have a huge wine industry throughout our three counties. Participating and opening up more opportunities for students to be involved in that industry really play into what we should be doing as a community college as well.